Okay, everybody, uh, I'm making this little video here for uh, to hopefully help diagnose uh, a problem before uh, it gets as far as it did on me. If uh, you own a Kawasaki shaft drive motorcycle, 1500, 1600, I'm not sure if the 1700 had shaft drive or not, but uh, mainly I think it's a shaft drive. I think all the shaft drive got the same uh, gear case on it. This is a coffer. Uh, first signs of this bearing going out, you'll notice a whine on deceleration when you let off the throttle. Uh, you'll hear a whine. It's kind of hard to notice because where it's positioned in the case and the echoing through the case uh, to pinpoint where it's coming from. But if you get a whine from deceleration and when you pull the clutch lever, it completely quits or it goes down a lot, then more than likely uh, it's that right there. Another sign is... Once you start riding the motorcycle, you got good clutch and everything. And when you start riding, and after you've been riding for a little bit, you lose, your clutch starts feeling mushy, and it gets to start hard to shift. What happens is, is this bearing is right where the slave cylinder for your clutch is. And this baby gets so hot that it actually starts boiling the hydraulic fluid and then you start getting uh, uh starts getting uh mushy the clutch gets mushy uh and this thing will once it gets so bad off it'll actually start throwing metal shavings into your engine uh i don't know if you can see here or not but this thing will keep the inside race will completely wibble wobble and what that was the, what that'll do once it gets so bad is this uh the driven gear and the drive gear will start losing mesh on each other where the gears go together. When this inner race kicks sideways, it'll actually let that gear come out from the other. But this is your front bevel gear. And I'll just try to show you on this. Get it. Right there on that box. Right there. That goes that that bearing sits right there. Right there's your driver gear, your front bevel gear, and that's your driver. Your output shaft comes through here, goes into a gear, goes into this gear, which drives. This is the driven gear over here where but that bearing sits right there. I don't know if this is an issue on Kawasaki's end or a bad manufactured bearing but uh this thing failed at 30,000 mile there's been instances i've read on forums where guys has had this bearing fail at 14,000 mile that is just totally unacceptable for how much you got to go through uh, the books tell you have to actually remove the engine and go through all kind of crap just to be able to get to this bearing and these things shouldn't be Failing at 14,000, 30,000, even at 50,000. Uh, that's just ridiculous. You can just hear. I mean, it's, it's trash. But uh, I thought I'd make this video and maybe spare someone the heartache of uh, be able to catch it a little bit sooner when I caught it. And I'm not actually seeing any videos on this bearing. Or where the bearings at i've just heard them about bearing i was kind of confused where the location was but uh right here at the gearbox it's right there right there is where that bearing is located there's a little cap there's a little cap that goes over it's like a copper collar cap it's got a you can pry that off and you can actually reach in there and confirm if that's that bearing bat or not Sometimes you can lift that up and down if it's really bad off, but I've had read that people has tested that and it not have no play in it, but once they took it apart and removed the bearing, it was in bad shape.
Uh, I hope that helps.